All right, so what information are we gonna have in here? I'll just write like four or five fields or something. Just because once you can do one, you can do them all. But the first one I want is just a ticker. And if you guys aren't familiar with like stock trading, then the ticker is just the symbol used to refer to the company. So Facebook's is FB, Amazon's is AMZN, Yahoo is YHOO, Google is GOOG. So it's just like a little username kind of like their username for the stock market. So ticker equals models and i don't think they're ever longer than 10 characters they're usually like three or four but they have some weird ones that with like i don't know anyways i'm getting kind of rambling but i'm just going to set this as a max length of 10 and the open is whatever price that stock was at the very beginning of the day so models i'm just going to have this as a float since it's going to have decimal places like seven dollars and 84 cents and of course let's also have the close and the close was um the price at the end of the day so this is in the morning and this is in the afternoon when it closes so models float field what the h is this mate all right now the last thing i want just so we kind of have some data in here aside from just three simple things is the volume and that is just how many times people traded it during that day. So basically if something cool happened with the company and then a bunch of people went to buy it, then the volume would be way up. So I'm just gonna set this as integer field and there we go. So now one other thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm just gonna have a string representation of this. So when we say, hey, print out this stock, it just doesn't like print out the memory address or whatever. So for this, I'm just gonna print out the ticker. So I'll just say return ticker. All right, so that looks good. If you wanna add some more things, just playing around with it, then go ahead. But make sure you have like two or three in there at least. So after this, what I wanna do is I actually wanna to go to admin.py and I wanna be able to add and delete stocks and edit them from the admin panel. Just so, I don't know, you should always do this just so you can manage it. So, all right import that and another thing i want to do is actually import the model recreated so from models import stock and i'll just write admin stock and again all this does is whenever you register it it says hey make sure that we can add and delete stocks from the admin panel so if you don't have this, then whenever you go to your panel, you aren't even gonna have a link to click on. So there you go. So of course, to use the admin panel, what we need to do is create a super user or an admin. So Python manage.py create super user. By the way, Django creators, you guys should shorten up this command. I always misspell it. So, all right, WTF is this no table auth user and the reason for that is because i didn't migrate my tables yet so it's saying hey you're trying to add a user to this table but you don't have any tables yet so in order to do that just write python manage.py make migrations in other words get the updated table structure and now we just have to migrate them so migrate and this actually uh, creates your tables with whatever the current structure is. All right, so now hopefully what I can do is create super user. And now everything's working fine since we do have a table to add the user to. So I'm just gonna name it admin, admin at gmail.com and the password is pass1234. And by the way, if you actually plan on uh, putting this on a live production server, then make sure that you don't uh, use that crappy password or whenever you put it over to production, make sure to update your password. So yeah, there you go. All right, so now what we can do is hopefully when we go ahead and run this. All right, so check this out, sauerkraut moving it so you guys can see uh, uh, uh let me bump up the font 
looking good. All right. So we don't have any pages yet, but we do have this sweet admin panel. And what we can do is we can log in and start adding some stocks. So click this and let's just go ahead and add a couple ones by default. So for Facebook, I'll say that they opened at $7. They closed at $10.23, a good day for them. And the volume was 500. It's usually like in the millions, but there you go. And I'll just add a couple more. AMZN is Amazon and they opened at 125.05 and they closed at 298. A great day for them and the volume was 800 whatever and let me just add one more and uh, free uh, no, Microsoft MSFT they opened at one dollar and 25 cents and they closed at 87 cents and their volume was 7,000 all right so now we have some stocks in there and now we can move on to actually creating a serializer class 